Hi, this is uh, another Ken Urban video. We're going to talk today about how to uh, access a Linux system remotely. I'm um, going to use our specific uh, Linux system. Um, the first program we're going to use, well, in this video, is called uh, putty.exe. We're going to go find that and download it. Um, oh, there we go. Download Putty. Uh, now, let's see, you can download it here. Nope, should pick the first link anyway. Um, so here we are at, at some English place that has Putty. Anyway, this is what we want, um, the Telnet and SSH client. And it, it's just an .exe file, which is kind of different than most things you would download. Um, there we go, it's 484K, it's already downloaded. Um, so I'm just going to go over to my download directory. Um, I, you probably can't see it on the screen, but I'm just going to drag that over to the desktop. There it is. Okay. So it's just the, the two machines showing how to connect remotely. I'm going to open it up. Yep, I'm going to run it. Um, I'm not going to ask this every time because I've been using it for a while and I trust them. Um, now, I already have some stored settings in there because I've already installed it. I use it all the time. But for my classes, um, we want www.csit.parkland.edu. And we want to make sure we're using SSH on port 22. Uh, I often save that, so I'll just call that uh, www. Hit save. And it's saved as www. Um, or you get to call it, I'm sure I've called it www, whatever, csit.parkland.edu. Anyway, I'm going to open it. And what this gives me is a terminal window for logging in. Uh, I'm going to log in with my username, which is the same as my Parkland username, which is used for Stu and all that stuff. That's going to ask for a password. Um, this is a default password. You can find it in the content folder. I'm sure it's going to change over time. If you change your password, it will be changed. One thing to notice, though, is that as you type, hear me clicking the keyboard, okay, you don't see the characters appearing. Now, here we are. I'm on the remote system. Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh. You can see that. If I could manage to type in uptime, right, this machine has been running for what almost 800 days without being rebooted. So anyway, so here, here's my um, how to connect to the system. There's other videos on what commands to use and stuff like that. Okay, uh, bye.